Well, the Duke and Duchess came to town, Drake and Diddy duped it out, and Nicki Minaj channeled Kim Kardashian. Yes, all that happened this week. <laughs> this week? <laughs> this week. One week. Busy week. <laughs> all right, well, here to break down all of those celebrity headlines and more are comedians Vanessa Fraction, like Matt, <laughs> and Kathy Searle. <laughs> ladies, welcome to the show. Hi. Thank you. All, all right, right, we got to bring some levity. Yes, yes. So let's have a good time. Yes. Steven is amazing, by the way. I did what? try to go through his bag to find the phone number of, of the prince. I didn't. I just want to let everybody know I was unable to find it. So I'm really sorry to disappoint you. Darn. You could have shared it with all of us. I know. I was going to say, let's oh text him gosh. right now. Well, speaking of the royals, the royals came to town and the New Yorkers lost their minds. What is our obsession with the royals and the Big Apple? Well, they're perfect. Is that, they it? Is that what it is? They're just so, so adorable together. And I'd like to say that her baby bump is... It's smaller than my food baby. Like, <laughs> it's You're very, baby. It's very upsetting. I'm like, how far along is she? And oh, okay. Right. I'm wearing She's elastic pregnant. waist pants and I'm not pregnant. Right. Yes. Where did I go wrong here? Oh, with Vanessa, did you try to go to any spottings? To see I did them? not. I did oh. think that they were adorable uh, court side. I thought that was they very were. cute. That was cute. Yes. You bring up a good point, but who do you think was more excited, Beyonce and Jay Z or the Duke and Duchess when they met? It's the first time I've seen Beyonce excited. Mm -hmm. She did look excited. She actually looked not by the outfit, happy. but she looked right. excited in the face. I was like, yes, she's, she's excited. Yeah, yes. I saw a little life in her eyes because mm -hmm. normally, you know, Beyonce gives us that like mm. thousand yeah. mile stare. Yeah, mm. it's very That's Sasha deep. Fierce. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We're not sure what's going on behind those eyes, but I saw like genuine happiness okay. to meet them. I like that. Yeah. Show some realness to her. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 And you mentioned her outfit, Vanessa. What'd you think about that look? Yeah, okay. Okay, it oh, was right. a little matronly. It was okay. just a little, little plain. Okay. Oh, a little plain. Right. A little plain. plain. <laughs> she could have brought it okay. up a little bit. Oh, <laughs> No, bring it up a little bit, Beyonce. Oh, Wouldn't right. it be amazing if their like theme song is Crazy in Love? Like that's the what they act out at the you know the that palace. The Royals. Yes. 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 I would love that. I would love to see that. They can love to see them do Drunk in Love. Oh, okay, yeah. done. Okay, we're done. Oh, done. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Oh gosh. That would be a sight. I would yes, love to would. see that though. Okay, we've got to speak about Bill Cosby. Oh, okay. Gosh. Beverly Johnson is the most recent person to come out and accuse him of drugging her. Janice Dickinson has been on a tear. Yes, she really. Yes. Let's look at look, the Nancy she told, Grace. Uh, and Nancy yeah. Grace, yes. Let's look at that and then let's discuss, all right? Okay. All right, cool. Oof, this interview was tough. I can't breathe because of Bill Cosby. What do you mean? I can't breathe because I haven't slept in weeks and, I, you know, I just, you know, I, you know, with everything that's going on, I haven't been able to breathe like the whole nation is doing right now, protesting. I am protesting because of the, the, the res unresolved issues due to rape b from Bill Cosby. It is my right as a woman, as a parent, to protect women out there worldwide and to protect daughters and granddaughters, sisters and mothers, okay? It is my right, and, it is, and I want uh, every woman out there to please hear my words. We've got to stop this man. He will keep doing it. He took a month off. Innuendo. He was in me. So okay. clearly, Janice is a very passionate, very mm -hmm. angry. Yeah, angry. <laughs> Vanessa, do you think she's helping or hurting the cause by giving these impassioned interviews? I would say she's hurting mm -hmm. the cause mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. he's a monster. Stop him. He an 83 year old monster coming out getting the women. I don't, I, it, come on now, Janice, simmer down. Simmer down yes. just a little touch. And um, if I may, with my thoughts yes, on please. Bill, yeah. I, 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 at this point, you kind of think that my, it, this, these things might have happened. Mm -hmm. Why is it taking 30 years for all of it to kind of come to the head? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I will say this, I'm very glad that what all the things that I've done in my past aren't on my shirt. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, would everybody walk out of my comedy show if you knew some of the uh, terrible things I've done? Not that I've maybe... I don't I want to put a meter on that type of thing, but mm -hmm. I will say this. Um, if this prosecution needs to ha happen, then let that happen. If it didn't happen 30 years ago, I don't understand why we're talking about it now, and I will say this. Y'all ain't gonna ruin Bill for me. 
Mm -mm. Mm. I still love the Cosby Show. I still love I Spy. I love Leonard Part Six. I love Let's Do It Again. I like Piece of the Action. I like Uptown Saturday Night. <laughs> I, like, I can get the resume. Your page, honey. <laughs> do you know who Bill Cosby is? Do you know who Bill Cosby is? Do you know me. Do you know any of his work? As a comedian, as, as a black a comedian. woman, okay. as a one black woman that watched him as a child and still looks up to who Cle uh, Heathcliff Huxtable, who's mm -hmm. a character, mm -hmm. not necessarily Bill Cosby, because we're all, we're, none of us are perfect. And if prosecution mm -hmm. needs to happen, needs to happen. But if not, simmer down and shut up. Because so this you're is able not... to separate the man from the actor and from I think the art that, you should. that he's contributed. I okay. think that you should. The art that you contribute is something different than who we are as imperfect people. All right. All right. Well, let's well move we can right continue along. that yeah. all day. All right. Either way, <laughs> the women, I, I wish them all well. And, that, okay. you know, the people that are coming forward, I think. It's important to hear both sides. Okay. okay. We're going to move to something that's a little lighter. Yes, please. <laughs> okay. Just a little. Just a little. I know. That was little. Totally. Yeah. All right, but check this out. Cuba Gooding Jr. was just casted to play O.J. Mm -hmm. Simpson in a TV movie. Is yeah. this good or bad casting? What do you think? I know so many people are going on and on about this. Here's the thing. I think Cuba Gooding Jr. is an amazing actor. He really is. I. My thing is... It's 2014. We're just doing a movie, like a new movie about O.J. Simpson. Like, what's going to be next? We're going to like revisit uh, Lorena Bobbitt. Yeah. 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 Well, this is really very dated material. Here. It is. It is a bit it old. Is. Yeah. He's in jail though, so Everything's it might start with him in jail, and then we do a whole mm. little flashback to what happened or something. But I will say, Cuba being picked, it didn't alarm me. It didn't no, alarm it didn't alarm me. I was kind of right. like, okay. okay. Right. I think it's going to be a challenge to play juice. that role. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He got He's the juice. got the he juice. Got the juice. Got the juice. Yeah. I like that. Let's talk. Talk about Drake and Diddy. Oh, okay, yeah. So everybody's looking at art down at Art Basel. They're duking it out in the club. I know. All right. Apparently, it was over song zero to one hundred. Mm -hmm. Diddy was yeah. supposed to record it, sat on it. Drake swooped in, recorded it, became a hit. Mm -hmm. Is it worth fighting over? No, it is a song. It's a Although, song. Although, sweet Drake has been. <laughs> I love. I do love them sweet both. Drake. I, sweet, <laughs> sweet, sweet Drake. 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 If sweet you're watching Drake. or listening, I'm here, <laughs> available. <laughs> Nothing on this hand. Whoa! Um, I know. <laughs> you got to put it all out there. Go I'm for just, it. I'm going to lay hey, it on the line. Go for it. it. The right. thing is, it, Diddy hasn't oh, had her. a number one in a while, so just oh. give him the song, maybe. Oh, oh shit! Go ahead. Oh, yeah, that was nice. Okay. I'm going to get eight uh, tweets on that one. I know. That's okay. It. Don't worry. We, we got your back. <laughs> you did good on that. I think right. that's a good point, but it's never about a song. It's no, never about no, a song. Yeah. It's always about that underlying emotion, Ooh. the disrespect. Yeah. It's about money. Oh. It's about, you know, power. power. Oh, I like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Come <laughs> We're going to put you in the hot seat real quick. Yeah. Kim Kardashian is blaming God on her weight gain while she was pregnant. I know. <laughs> oh, that is really good. Do that again. God made me fat. <laughs> I think mean, she has a better one than you, Lola. Hashtag why I'm fat. <laughs> Really? Really, Kim Kardashian? Again, I'll go back to my food baby. Like, come on now. I'll say this is a mother of two. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Self-centeredness is either a disease or a narcotic. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? Because it is not about you, yes. lady. You getting bigger is for who? Baby North to have nourishment. Yeah. Baby well, North is a ba taking her shine already. Well, she had to tell Elle magazine, you know, Elle, that all this happened and that God was trying to prove that he was in charge of her life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Not so much. It's just a big excuse, you think? I think so. Okay. I mean, really. And well, here's the quote. She said, Kim, you think you're so hot, but look what <laughs> I can do to you. So, so God's out here punishing bigger people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> punishment. Being, a, you know, and God's doing that. Chunkiness oh, isn't a punishment. In fact, yeah. it's, it's fun when you get chunky. Kim, oh, it's okay. not God that's doing it. It's it was you. your hand to your mouth oh. that was doing it. Good All point. Right. Let's talk about right. Nicki Minaj. She's oh, I like Nicki. We like I Nicki. Like we like she Nicki. She apparently knows how to spoof Kim Kardashian and Beyonce. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look and see what you think, ladies. All right. <laughs> Let everybody have their moment. <laughs> this moment is about my baby boy. <laughs> Behold, he woke up like this. <laughs> Flawless. <laughs> One day he'll turn water into wine, and we'll all be drunk and loud. Now I have to ask, what was the idea behind these nude photos? Well, Colin, the entire thing was completely misinterpreted. Like, look at this photo. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Do you notice anything? Um, I, I definitely noticed something, yeah. 
there's no background to the photo. Oh, oh. They forgot to put the backgrounds in, so the photos are completely out of context. Here's the same photo with the proper background. <laughs> See? It was actually a public service announcement about getting regular checkups from your gynecologist. <laughs> or this photo with the champagne. Mm -hmm. Now let's see it with the right background. <laughs> see, it was actually part of a math competition for high school seniors. Oh, <laughs> it all makes sense now, huh? I yes, think she nailed it. it. What do you ladies think? She's fantastic. Well, fantastic. I actually really love Nicki Minaj. I think she's very funny, and mm. I think if she really starts to explore that more, not unsimilar to Drake. They uh, really they are do. like great comics, mm -hmm. and we're not they're gonna performers. Use, uh, well, you we're are not gonna great use comics. The word great. Also, we're not gonna oh. use the oh. word great. Okay, right. we'll use it for you. You guys yeah. are great comics. Yeah. So tell us Thank what's you. going on in your life. Where can we catch you next? Me first? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. First, um, on so. Christmas Eve and on Christmas Day on TV One, you can catch me um, in Kim Fields Direct, and I believe wrote it as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's called Holiday Love, The Rebirth. So Ooh, nice. that's coming on. And okay. you can find everything about me at Vanessa Fraction. All right. Nice. I am about to film an episode of Empire. Ooh. I'm very excited. I'm working with Mr. Terrence Howard, so I'm very excited. Nice. Um, yeah, and that'll be coming out uh, sometime next year. All right. All right. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so Thank much, you, ladies. Thank you, guys. Thank <laughs> you so much. Thank all right. You. Now, what do you think of all these topics? Tweet us about them at Arise TV 360 and we'll be right back.